here at Moody Gardens, and we're guests here tonight. So, with that being said, why don't we go do a room tour in 2022 with my new camera? Now, the first thing I noticed, they actually have paper key cards now, which is pretty cool. But we are in room 763. We have RFID now, and let's do a room tour. Swiping the key and going in. That's what the room looks like. Now, I'll be right back to try on some lights. This is the first impression tour. It's also worth knowing we are in the North Tower this time. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back here at the Moody Gardens Hotel here in Galveston, Texas. Focus, Sony. And starting out here, this seems like a pretty nice room. Now, they have upgraded to RFID since last time. We have a standard RFID lock set with a deadbolt and a latch lock, but we'll leave those open since I have a family member today. They'll be coming in later. We are in again in room 763. There's a north tower, there's also a main tower, but this time I'm in the newer north tower section. Starting out, we have a closet here with, it seems like we got some robes and hangers, and we also have a big safe, which this safe is so big, it could probably fit not in my computer, my computer bag, and my former computer, which is 16 inches. It also looks like, ooh, we have a bit of mold in here. That's not good. Okay, that's not a great start. Anyways, we can test the safe. Takes a minute to lock. Doesn't say anything about it being closed, but it is locked. Let's see if it unlocks. Okay, so the safe thankfully does work, but that's a little bit not the best start coming into a place like this that is supposed to be luxury. Anyways, though, now we're here at the coffee station. You have some nice mugs and paper cups individually wrapped with uh, your standard coffee kit with creamer, all that stuff. You also have some $5 water bottles, which I don't recommend buying these. You can get them at the convenience store down the road for a bit cheaper. But we do have a nice Keurig here, which uh, this one seems pretty nice. It's empty, but it seems like we have some community coffee. I prefer seeing K-Cups over other coffee makers, so that is nice. You also get a makeup mirror and these two lights, which <laughs> these light it up pretty well, actually. Going out into the main room, though, you have your standard Moody Gardens room. Again, we're in the North Tower, so this is slightly newer. There's your fire alarm stuff, some artwork, a plug, I'm assuming for the phone, and we will go ahead and take a look at one of these beds. This is a two queen room, mattresses feel nice, but why don't we dig a, di a bit deeper? Now I saw housekeeping was actually still servicing rooms this late, which is interesting. We have this uh, top sheet here, we can pull it back, very nice quality sheets I must say. But inside of the top sheet we have a down comforter and what seems to be a bottom sheet with a stain. Okay, that seems to be more of a permanent stain though, not a case of we didn't change the linens, and I don't see any other stains on this. So what I'm assuming happened here is that we have a bed linen here that had a permanent stain, and rather than change it, we reused it. That is a point off right there, as I expect better, but it does smell fresh. Everything here seems to have been washed, and there's no hairs. Uh, overall, though, very nice. Actually, there's a hair right here. Okay, that is not very nice. Otherwise, I don't see any other hair, so I'm assuming that's just like the housekeeper. I, Yeah, I will be reporting that at checkout, but that is a bit disappointing, honestly. It seems we've taken a step back in the cleanliness department. Anyways, though, we have a nice alarm clock here in an iHome phone with a dim display. Also, it has an old 30-pin cable on here, so thankfully they give you a modern charge port, so... If you don't use an iPhone 4S or older, you can bring your own charge and it'll work. We also have a notepad. You don't really see these in hotels anymore, so that's nice. We have a nightstand here with no Bible, which is pretty standard, actually. And here we are, now facing the other way. We have a dresser with some drawers. All seem to have been emptied. And here we have a Magic Chef mini fridge. Empty as it should be. We also have a nice ice bucket, plastic cups, glass cups. Perfectly clean. Here we are at the desk with no Bible. Here we have uh, the little advertisement plaque, pretty standard. We have the Moody Gardens pen and notepad, another one. It is worth noting every room has two lines as well for you to use, so that's nice. In the back here, we have a nice little seating area with two chairs, a table, recycling and regular. I like seeing that. Coming over here, we can open the window. It seems like we got a pyramid view. That is a beautiful view, my gosh. Okay, I do love that. There's the swimming pool down there. <laughs> Guess we don't need to look at that now. Okay, yeah, we will in the main tour. 
here are a thermostat, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this thing down nice and low. I do like that they actually printed the temperature on this one, though, unlike the older rooms here, which don't have that printed. The AC unit does work, and it's putting out nice cold air. So here we go. Now we're all turned on. It'll be cooling off very shortly. It's also worth noting you have outlets there. Again, outlets at the nightstand, outlets there. So if you bring a lot of tech, you'll be okay. We have adjoining rooms here, but it does seem that this door does work. We get a nice little lock on that, so that is all good. Coming into the room here, we have, turning on the lights, we have a actually very nice lighted mirror. We have some Paya hotel soap, which I, I've never used this brand, but it seems nice. We have my favorite tiny little bottles. I always take these over the little dispensers. And they also give us some makeup removers. And there's your towels, all very nice presentation. Uh, more cups, plastic cups. I like seeing that. It looks like we have a towel policy and some towels. There's the toilet. It is a toilet. Closing the door, very heavy door. There's your hand dryer, or hair dryer, I mean. You have a towel dryer, which looks a little scummy. And there's your shower, which has pressure and temperature control. Or no, that's the, uh, we have an interesting shower head. I've never seen this model before. What is that? It's a nice shower head, but it's very strange. But it does seem to work, and uh, the, okay, let's turn that off. So temperature and pressure are combined, not my favorite, but it works. We also have some Sonoma branded bath soap, but no dispensers. I do like seeing that, and it looks like we don't, oh yeah. It seems like they also give us a bath mat, since this is a not a non-slip tub. It's okay, uh, not my favorite choice, but it's okay. In the end though, that is the room. I will say the beds are actually pretty disappointing this time around. Um, and no doubt will the staff be hearing about that. That is, for the price that this hotel charges at 400 a night, I checked last. I don't know if I fully got my value here. I'm glad we got a discount, but if you're staying here, there, there's improvement is needed. This is actually pretty disappointing. Um, I don't know if I can recommend this hotel. The service at check-in was pretty good. Not amazing, not terrible. Also, we have a nice little TV there. I will say the TV is pretty nice, but I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I mean, it seems clean for the most part. The mold isn't very nice. The bedding needs help. This room is a very, very low pass. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I expected better of Moody Gardens. Anyways, though, I guess that will be all, and that's it. All right, guys, I think you know where we are. We are back here at the Moody Gardens Hotel in 2022. That's right, I'm a guest here again. And today we're gonna do a review. Now walking in, we are here at the main carport area. This is where most days will begin for most people. So if you choose this property, this is what it's going to look like. Now throughout this tour, I will try to put in some more info about the property as well as policies. Now walking in, We have a nice foyer, and it looks like the plant wall that we started at last time has grown quite a bit. You also get some welcomes, concierge desk is right there. And there is the front desk slash other concierge. There's also a ticket buying kiosk for the pyramids on site as well. You have a nice little uh, fish pond water feature, and there's the lobby bar. So if you like bars here, there are two on site, so you can definitely get your alcohol here. Personally, I don't drink, but if you do, they do offer that amenity. They have a mini wedding parlor display here. There are the elevators, which we will get back to that in a moment. These are very busy right now, so. There's the on-site restaurant, Cafe in the Park. It is pretty decent for a hotel restaurant anyways. Now here are the elevators, which we're gonna actually take this elevator to the second floor, because that is where our tour continues. There's not much to the lobby here, though we will loop around back and tour the rest of the first floor on the way back. This is what a standard elevator here looks like at the Moody Gardens Hotel. I think it's a pretty nice elevator. There's some activities, which is worth knowing this is a very family-oriented property, so. Thank you, sir. If you have a family, you can drop the kids off and the hotel will actually watch them free of charge so you can go out and enjoy the island. So if you want some time away from the kids, this may be the one for you. Now, we are going to go to the North Tower, which is where our tour continues. 
that staircase right there will take you to the indoor pool. There's also an outdoor pool just out there, which I have some shots of that from the morning, which when we go da back downstairs, I will show them. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't I show them right now? Now, it is probably gonna fog up again since it's still very humid out here. But out here you get a seating area, which is pretty nice. Nice set of landscaping. There's inside the hotel. But we can look at the pool and activities area since at eight o'clock in the morning, I don't think anybody is going to be out here. Well, it's actually 7.30, but close enough. They have a little bouncy house for kids. I hope this is coming across clearly. It's a bit foggy out today. Well, it's not really foggy, it's just humid because we're in Galveston. <laughs> Basically the uh, humidity capital of Texas. Actually Corpus Christi is pretty humid too in the morning You have another bar. There's also a bar right there if you like so if you like bars this hotel has plenty There is the pool um, It's a very nice pool. You also have a little hot tub over there. There's the pool. There's a bar right there uh, It is worth noting that wristbands are required But the property does provide them for free at the front desk So if you would like to swim here, you do need a wristband that way locals don't swim in the pool. There is a restaurant where one ceiling fan apparently is broken and still running. That's probably not good, but I am not the expert on that. You would have to consult the uh, ceiling fan expert board on that one. Now here's one security concern I have where anyone could really just walk into the hotel without passing the front desk because these doors don't lock. And the front desk, as you saw, is over there. So technically, that means anyone could just walk right on in. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Anyways, there's a spa, we just passed it. The spa's not open at this time of night, of course, but there it is. There's your fitness center, I would show that, but it goes into a changing room, I'd rather not film that. <laughs> I don't think that would be the most appropriate thing for YouTube anyways. There is the place where you can send your kids yeah, free of charge. The there are the North Tower or the TH Tower eBay tours. Only one is working at this particular stay, but normally more of them are working. There is your communal microwave for the North Tower. In the South Tower, it is located on the parking level in the laundry room. It seems like at one point we would have had lights going all the way down, but they don't replace those anymore, so <laughs> oh well. Now. Through this very odd little room here, we actually have some more convention space just down there. And we will take the elevator in this part and show the next part of the hotel. That way we avoid the crowded North Tower elevators because there's only one working, so it's very busy. But this is the off uh, the off-site building technically. I mean, they're all connected, but we will see if we can go down. And we should be able to because we're only going down the elevator. That's all we're here for because we're just taking the elevator the expressway because it's faster than taking any other thing. Here's the elevator. It will take a minute for this elevator. It seems like they're having a little party up here. There's some of that stuff if that's what you're into. This is the off-site. It's, well, it's technically on-site, but it's the off-building convention center. Oh, the elevator's here because the big bright light has come on to let us know. It is worth noting at nighttime, though, since they do have two bars, and I've heard the alcohol here is relatively cheap. They do have a lot of drunk people around here. So if you have kids, you don't want to run into drunk people, I would recommend getting back in the hotel at like 10 o'clock. Though, of course, I think they're having a little alcoholic party here at night, so it's going to be a bit worse tonight than it would be on a normal night at this property. Just worth noting. But normally, on like a weeknight, you wouldn't have to worry about this. It's only on like Saturday and Sunday night where you gotta worry about that kind of stuff. Well, Friday night too. But the rest of the week, it's all good. Going out here, we are now in the next part of the hotel now. Normally, I would have gone down the North Tower elevators and we would have gone down there. I'll show you that on the way back. But due to the fact that the North Tower elevators are so busy right now, I don't think it would be a very good idea. And catching a drunk person on camera, eh, not the best for a review, right? <laughs> Anyways, though, we're not going to spend much time out here, but we are going to go outside for two seconds. This is the East Wing, I believe. But this is the large convention center, so if you're told that you're going to be in the expo ballrooms, that's where they are. 
They are, so you basically go to the North Tower, just continue down all the way until you hit a staircase. You're gonna go down that, or you can take an elevator. Now you're just gonna continue down this little hallway that the staircase leads you to, all the way out here, and here you are. There's also a parking garage, which for parking, they offer uh, street parking, slash, well, it's more like a big parking lot that is free to park in. They have valet, which is paid, and this garage is free. There's also a garage in the basement of this hotel that is paid. So if you want free parking, you gotta do a parking lot or the garage. Now, it is worth noting that some of the garage is reserved for valet, but not all of it. And if you have a North Tower guest room, like I got this time, the garage is the best place to park. It is also worth noting the elevators in the garage are very high speed, so if you need fast elevator service, that's where you can get it. <laughs> Going back through this hallway, though, this will connect us back into the hotel. Since we took that elevator, we actually saved a bit of time. Now, normally, of course, it would not be this busy. They just have an event going on tonight. And it seems like it is a very alcohol-heavy one. But normally, you could take that elevator and go the way I did, back into the hotel. But we are not going to go in through the first floor, so we are back down on the floor we started on. I know it's a bit confusing, but I hope that makes sense. Now, you're going to first, if you go down that staircase, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to hit this area. That will take you to the pyramids if you continue down the path. It can also take you to the pool area. And if you go this way, you're going to be presented with a staircase and an elevator. And this is what's going to take us into the hotel. These doors also do not lock, it is worth noting, so these are always open. So, no matter when your convention ends, you can always get back in. They have a couple of animals here. I have not seen them, so I don't think they're in the enclosure today, but... Sometimes they are. We'll take this elevator up to the uh, main level because we're actually about 10 steps lower. It's easier on me to take the elevator for this tour. Taking the elevator up, this is what the elevator looks like. Again, same kind of cab, nothing really different. It's a nice elevator. We have to one. Now this is where the on-site ballrooms are, so depending on the ballroom you get, you're either going to be on-site or you're going to be in that off-building just to the back. Now if we go this way, this is going to be the uh, elevator lobby for the North Tower. It is worth noting in this state only one is working, as I have mentioned earlier, but normally they'd all work. Now there are actually some guest rooms back here on this level as well. Mainly just suites though. Um, but. It is worth noting that you could go out here, continue all the way down to that hallway, and that will take you directly to the pool. Though you do need a room key to go back in through that door, but other doors you can easily walk through. There is our uh, drunk parade convention, as I like to call it. Normally they're not here, it's just this time they are. They have a little couch here, so if you're waiting on someone in the convention, you can do so. There is a sign telling you where the ballrooms are. I will say this place definitely isn't as nice as it used to be. The sign being burnt out is just kind of showing that they're not putting as much money into it anymore. Continuing down this way, we have... This is all the on-site ballrooms. That is the name of these, if you are wondering. I'm pretty sure, of course, if you had a convention here, they'd give you a map. Now, it is also worth noting that the way we entered, if you, instead of going left, like I did in the tour, if you take a right, this will take you down this hallway. There's the smoker's patio. I've never seen anyone smoke there, but you could get a nice view of the hotel that way. But normally, people don't smoke. So that's where you're supposed to go if you want to smoke. Not that I recommend it. <laughs> now, this is what the ballroom hallways look like. We are about to go through the ballroom foyer, or at least one of the two. That's what a ballroom here looks like. They're very big. Now up ahead is the business center, but we're go there's gonna be a little surprise in the business center, not necessarily a good one. Now, of course, like all the locks, it's upgrade to RFID. Now my card wasn't working earlier, but I figured out you just pull on the door to open it, so that's fine and dandy, but going in here and turning on the light, there's no computers. I think we caught them in the midst of an upgrade, or maybe they don't offer a business center anymore, but Regardless, if you need a business center, they do not have one on site as of July 2022. Continuing down, we just passed the main ballroom foyer right there. 
This is more of a waiting area. Got a seat or a couple seats there. You got just a big open space. This is the foyer for that ballroom right there. That is, I think, the biggest one they have in this part of the hotel anyways. There is Moody Brew or basically the Starbucks. I mean, they probably serve it. <laughs> There's also a little gift shop in there if you like one. And we're back where we started, but this time we're going to go back to the elevators, but we're not going to go to the same floor that we took this time around. This time we're going to go up to my floor. And I will say overall this is a pretty nice place here. Go around, get into the elevators here. Now there's almost always an elevator waiting open here, so... If you want an elevator, there is one. This elevator will be on its way shortly, so we'll just take that. Or maybe not. This elevator seems to be waiting for us, so we will take it. Now, I was put on level 7, so we will go up there. And I will show you what a standard guest corridor looks like on this property. And that's where we're going to end it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, Overall, as you see in the room tour, I will say it's definitely degraded a bit, unfortunately. I will say these elevators are nice and fast, so these are faster than the North Tower set. Now I'll show you how to get to a North Tower room, if you're put in one like I was. Now last time, I was down that hallway. This time though, if you would like to go to the North Tower, you just keep going down this hallway. Seems like they're, uh, See, like someone had a broken fridge. But anyways, if we continue down this hallway, which is just what a standard guest hallway here looks like, I will say they are a bit worn. Not the nicest first impression coming in. They could definitely use to fix that. But now we're going to go to the North Tower, which we need to go through a little sky bridge first. Now, here's the sky bridge. Looks like it's pretty nice. Passing the sky bridge here. We are now entering the North Tower hallway. And we are now in the North Tower. Normally there would be a vending machine here. It is currently not with us. Uh, but there is one on the other side of the hotel. You get a nice little seating area in the North Tower here. That's probably the staff area, which we're not going to go into. the room. We will end just up there. But that is going to do it for the 2022 revisit to Moody Gardens. This is probably my most overdue redo hotel tour. Oh, there's a vending machine, a nice machine right there, if you need from the North Tower. And that's going to be it. Before I end this review, there are some developments between the making of this review and now. So in this quick voiceover section, I just want to make a few points before we do the final wrap up. For those unaware of how my system works, generally the time between the day I film these reviews and get them on YouTube is one to three months, de depending on order and how many are waiting as I do one tour a month, at least as of July 2022, or August now when this is being uploaded, but um, when I check out of a hotel, I generally write them a review on TripAdvisor or Google, or both, it depends on the stay and if I've already reviewed them before. And this is just so that management, if they have anything to say, I can put that in before it is too late. Like, for example, if the hotel is not very nice, if they have a comment, I can put that in now. Please note that Moody Gardens by no means was a not bad hotel. It was, overall, my stay was great, and the staff did fix all the problems that were mentioned in the room to the best of their ability upon being reported. So, nothing wrong there. But, anyways, back to the topic at hand. It seems in this video, I caught the hotel right before a renovation. According to the manager who replied on my TripAdvisor review, they're about to renovate the property. So if you stay here in a year or two, or maybe even three, the room that you're gonna get is gonna be completely different to the room shown in the video. And none of the problems that were shown here are going to be of any concern, because I'm sure they're going to fix any and all problems in these rooms during this renovation later this year. I'm assuming they're gonna do it probably in the winter when nobody is staying there. 
And that kind of explains why the whole place felt like it was being wound down a little bit. Because I think that they were just trying to wind it down so that way they can kind of get ready for this big renovation. Since I'm sure it's going to be a great renovation once they're done. They just need to do it, obviously. Um, and of course, I will say on an island, especially Galveston, you do have to set your standards a little bit lower than they would be elsewhere. I will say Moody Gardens has always been the slightly nicer one. Generally in Galveston, I expect kind of like what an Omni Corpus Christi room is, something outdated that's clean, but just quite outdated and not with the times. But Moody Gardens has generally been a step above that from what I've experienced. And that that's pretty common in Galveston now. And I'm sure after this renovation is going to continue with that trend. But in the end, after all this being said, and after putting this update at the end of this review, I will also put this in the description and you can check out my review as well. It will also be in the description. In the end, though, after all that, if your travels bring you to Galveston, and if you're a family especially, Moody Gardens is definitely a hotel that's worth looking into. Anyways, though, with that all being said, let's go on to the final review.